We're sorry. 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 sorry. Alright, listen up here, pimps. I got a quick, short, and fat one for you, so let's just get right into it. I stopped torturing heretics to tell you that Golem is an absolute atrocity that should be cast into Mount Doom for the second time. Who in their right mind would make a game centered around that little crackhead Golem? It's like if they made an Elder Scrolls spin-off game, but you play as the Sweet Rolls, or a Spider-Man game if, if you didn't get to play as Spider-Man. This game is so bad that they had to rush out an apology so quickly that they didn't even spell the name of their own game correctly in said apology. And look at how generic the apology formatting is. It looks like every other apology we've gotten in the last two years for every other One broken game on launch. At least be like Druckle fucking take a little pride in your apology. Add a nice little red border, add a little faint paw print in the background. It's artsy, it's fun. Unlike this game, both the developers and the publishers unironically looked at this game and went, yeah. This baby's ready to go. Ship it! Without having any deep platforming systems, any deep stealth systems, completely brain-rotted AI, horrible missions, and they didn't even put in a sound effect for dying, nor a sound effect for when you get grabbed and clocked in the head. You stay there. Not even a... You. Or a... You. Or how about a... You stay. But I suppose I should consider myself lucky that only the sound effect was missing because sometimes I was fucking missing. All right, now that I've ranked us into the gameplay section, let's just drill deeper from here, shall we? It goes without saying that the platforming elements are non-existent. Most of the levels are basic wall climbing and basic jumping, and the maps weren't even built to challenge those in any engaging way. Not to mention the fact that this just handles like shit. Every move feels about as wrong as running the alternate in the late night knuckle shuffle contest. But hey. I'd say that stealth is more of the focus anyway, so surely that'll be good, right? No. This game kicks off with a trailing mission that could be easily confused as a demonstration of how to play the game, but in reality, it's a showcase of how stupid these Helen Keller AIs are. And that clip was only the tip. Now let me give you the shaft. There's a guard standing at the door. Cut right, cut left. Hit him with the post slants. Run past the moron that's staring at the goddamn wall. Run past the other moron that's pumping his shotgun in the corner. Wait. Eat for the stutter to end. Run past the Walmart greeter. He never detects you, by the way. Final area. Oh, shit. This guy's on guard. Oh, he's awaiting. That guy doesn't give a shit in the slightest, but this guy? He's waiting. So what do you do? You run around him and finish the area. And you think that was bad? Now let me show you the climax. In the next area... You jump into the middle of the fucking room, alert everyone in there, jump off the cliff, find a ledge, and now the traveling horde of lobotomy patients travel west and you're free to go. <laughs> <laughs> that is, in fact, just the way it is. But well, moving on, then we have the incredibly boring mission structure of grab that, now that, now that, now that, now that, now blow up that, and that, and that. Then, oh great, let's mix it up a little bit. A herding mission. And what's the big mechanic to this one? You walk in a straight line. Mission complete. The mission structure is so repetitive and boring that I'm getting flashbacks to Saints Row. <laughs> And I don't like it when that happens, brother. And if the horrible gameplay wasn't enough, hey, Zeus Christ, this game has more stuttering than a speech impediment class. And I'm talking hard stutters. The kind where you can scratch your nuts and not miss a beat. The kind where they hang for so long you think about taking a piss break real quick. But pimp, do I have good news for you? It all comes around in the ending. The $50 price tag, the broken game, the cut content turned into launch day DLC. It's all made up with one of the best endings I've ever seen seen in all of gaming history. Hot loads of spoilers coming right now, right into your hair. Are you ready? You click the refund button. Thank you to the flock of pimps for funding this random video on the little crackhead man from those movies you once saw. And once again, a huge thank you to Sir Pipper Ah Hayseed. God bless you. Alright, I'm gonna go back to working on the bolt gun video now. Bye, pimps.